So thoughts imagine, thoughts imagine a past and a future that doesn't exist. Thoughts imagine a past and a future that never exists. Because there's just what is. Sound of the birds, my voice, sitting on the chair, drinking tea. Just what's happening right now. Everything else is imagined. And that's the beauty and the freedom in this message. Thoughts are no fun. Thoughts are a roller coaster. It's the washing machine all over again every day. They never lead anywhere. I know they're convincing. I know. Thoughts are actually looking for this. That's actually what thoughts are looking for, but they don't know it. So the seeking is gonna continue because that's all thoughts can do is think past or future. But what it really wants is the peace and the freedom and the simplicity of just what is, just this. And <clears throat> what is isn't owned by anybody. Nobody owns what is. And not only does nobody know, own what is, nobody knows what is. I think it was maybe the rock band in the 70s sticks that say you're fooling yourself. You guys remember that? You're fooling yourself. That's what thoughts do. They have an illusion, illusory quality to them that makes something that doesn't exist feel like it does, seem like it does. But if you look right now, what's actually happening right now? If you don't go to thought. I think I said last week, if, if you stop caring about the thoughts, the thoughts will stop caring about you. It's our interest in the thoughts that keeps them alive, that gives them energy. All right, here's a name I don't recognize. Should we take a chance? You guys feeling brave? Sure. Okay. It's a, if it's a Zoom bomber, Peter will blame you. All right. Happy to take it. 
<laughs> well, swing art. We'll see what happens here. And so you can't get a handle on just what's happening because by the time you think you've gotten a handle on it, now it's this. I got me story. When I start swaying, it's a problem. When I start swaying this shit, it's a problem. Boom! 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 Hmm. Okay, Peter, what are you, what are you going to buy us? We'll have to find a punishment. Okay. You can put this one right on Peter. That was pretty intense. Well, you know, if you're going to Zoom bomb, you got to bring it. <laughs> right? So, I mean, I don't really know what the point of it is. Um... But I guess it doesn't matter. It's an oh, I just muted you, Peter, because I, I was hearing some background noise from you, Peter. I'm, I'm trying to get the ringing in my ears to stop. So that's a good example, right, of there's just what is. I had a feeling it was a Zoom bomber. It was a Zoom bomber. So what, right? Who cares? It's just what is. It doesn't mean anything. So that's the freedom that nothing means anything unless you decide it does. If you believe it means something, it's gonna feel like it means something. But inherently everything is meaningless. unless you say otherwise. Oh, okay, I'm not falling for this. Another one showed up named Sneeko. Yeah, I think one, uh, one per night is good. I think, I think we're all good there. We'll just let them sit in the waiting room. So yeah, so this, this is just part of the gig. These, these guys show up. At least we all have decent names. <laughs> yeah, I, I was 90% sure that was a Zoom bomber, but Peter gave me some encouragement. So I thought, all right. But yeah, I was pretty sure. Usually I know, like I, I can, when people join, I get an email. So I, I, can, I know that we had a couple of people join this week and we had a couple of people RSVP that are not here, but those carry a little more weight. But these strange names that just show up out of the blue. Um, but again, it's, it's fine, you know, who cares? It's just this as a Zoom bomber. Everything is this. So it's already gone. Right, so let's, so to think about the Zoom bomber, what do I have to do? I have to go to a thought and let's say I get triggered. You know, how dare he, who does he think he is? You know, that shouldn't happen. Zoom should be more responsible. Now I'm suffering because I'm saying what should be and I'm in thought and I'm in story when I can just be here now. And the key thing is it doesn't belong to anyone. So even that sense of you, the thing you take to be you isn't yours. You didn't do that.
So there's no answer. You know, the meal will be waiting. Okay, well, if I'm nothing, then what? Well, there's no then what? There's no answer coming. If you ask, who am I? And you just stay quiet. You don't get a response. Unless you go to a thought. Everything is already happening on its own, already. So there's really nothing for you to do. What you're looking for is already the case right here, right now. You're already it, already, fully. You can't be any more it unless you go to a thought, and then you can think about how you're lacking. And you can go to a story. But without a thought or a story, Well, Michael, well, what would I know without a thought or a story? I wouldn't know anything, exactly. You don't want thoughts and stories. You want freedom. You don't want answers. You don't want to figure this out. That's suffering because there is no answer. So trying to figure out something that has no answer is just an exercise in futility. But you can do that too. This does that too. This, it's sort of like, it has to feel natural. Like you suddenly realize, oh, there, there are no answers. There's just what's appearing. It's literally that simple. And if you're annoyed, that's just what's appearing, but it doesn't mean anything. Like it has no significance. It's just what's arising. So pain doesn't belong to anybody. Success doesn't belong to anybody. Failure doesn't belong to anybody. Confusion doesn't belong to anybody. Frustration doesn't belong to anybody. Nothing belongs to anybody. It's just imagine that it's mine. That you think this is your body is just an imagining. It's not your body. You didn't create it. I didn't create it. I have no idea how all any of this is happening. So this is an open meeting. Everyone's welcome to participate. So feel free to unmute and make a comment or question if you'd like to. Just to this last uh, statement of uh, you said that uh, I didn't create it for, I, I don't know exactly how long, but for the most part of my life, I have bought into the belief that I created this body. And there was so much evidence I, there was so much evidence available for that belief. Now, so with that said, when you said it, I can totally get that too. And yet, 
at the end of the day, yeah, I mean, I, I would, if you ask me, so, you know, what do you believe? I would have no idea how this came about. I just wouldn't know. Yeah. And that's beautiful because it doesn't answer anything, right? The me, the mind wants answers, but there are no answers. You can, I mean, you can pretend, you know, you can think you know stuff and there's, there seems to be knowledge that we can interact and go to the store and buy things and all that. But when it comes to what all this is, what is this? What is happening right now? How is this happening? What's it made of? Now that, that will either resonate or it won't. It's like freedom in unknowing. If that resonates with you, then this message, you know, you'll feel a, a resonance with it. If there's still something there that needs to know, then that's fine too. And you'll, you'll go out and you'll keep, you know, looking for answers or the right path or the right teacher. And that's all fine because it's all this. So it doesn't matter. It's just what works for you. Yeah, Peter, I, I like what you just said. You kind of made a public confession that's going on tape or being recorded for the, the ages that um, I think how you said it is that for a lot, most of your life or all of your life, you felt that you were creating your life. Um, well, that is the me. Every me f feels and believes that I'm creating my life, which is the same, same idea that I can control. I have, I have control and I can do, which is all based in the idea that I'm creating this and I know what it is. All of those are the same thing. And that is what the me is. And as Michael's pointing out, <laughs> it's all, it's impossible to know or to control the idea that I know or I control or I create. Create, what does that mean? That means I am the creator, God, essentially. And that is the me. It's the idea that I am God. It's taking on that idea and trying to make it work, which is exactly why <laughs> you know, we see how the plan goes every, every time, always. And, and it's funny because it's, I, I am the creator, I am God, but it's also feeling I am not God at the same time. It's trying to really do both of those things at once, which makes it even more crazy. Because as much as the idea, well, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I, I have knowledge, I have power, I can do things. No, <laughs> because there's no one there. There is no source of all of these things in, in me or anywhere else, but the me, the me is the idea that, yeah, I'm that. Anyway, so that's what we're, we're pointing to all the time. And it's great the way you said that because you put it out there really clear, clearly for everybody. And we all recognize, yeah, that's what, that's this me. And it's trying to make that, trying to make you know get that plan going on the road and, and make it <laughs> see you know make it succeed somehow yeah and i i'd like to add then in my case in like maybe from my 20s 
through my 50s or something. I was deeply buying into like the human potential movement and I read a lot of books and it became, you know, it wasn't just that I presumed or assumed, but it was just like, it be, you know, it was all about not being a victim, but being the creator. Like, like it, it, this sense of that I can control this, you know, mm -hmm. if I want to feel better, there is tools to do that. And so uh, it just struck me how, uh, how deeply I bought into that model. Yes, absolutely. And you're speaking for every single citizen <laughs> of the world. I mean, it's about thinking citizen of the, of, I mean, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what I, you know, or, or turn on the TV and see, oh, well, what I could buy that, or I could choose this thing, all these things being offered to me in my pro project of creating this wonderful life. Well, that's, that's the world, and that's the world of the me. And that's all the stories. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes the world go around for the me. But we're here, we're the, you know, the kid who's saying the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> and that's why also why we say it's all a story. Yeah, it's all a story. And as I posted a couple of days ago, the keeper of the story, meaning the keeper of your story, your life story, how you know what has happened to you, the keeper of the story cannot be found. Cannot be found. That story that you've been living your whole life from, if you actually look for it, where is that story? Who's keeping these records? How do I know I have a past? How do I know I have a future? The keeper of the story. Where is that one? The it's keeper? A thought. Go ahead. It's a thought. It's, you know, the past is something that uh, it, it, it exists in the imagination. Right, but that has to be clearly seen because in the, the giveaways, if they're still suffering, when it's seen that they're, oh, I never had a life story. That was total BS. That was a story I was believing that doesn't actually exist. There is no keeper of the story. There's just what's happening. There's just this. And by the time we tell a story about it, it's already not that anymore. It's like the me is trying to like contain and understand life. Like if I could just, you know, kind of harness it and understand how it works and use it and get what I want. Oh my God, it's so much suffering. You don't want what you want. You just want what is. Because there's no peace in what you want because what you want is always in the future. And you want the peace now. You want the peace right now. You don't want to wait.
It's like the me says, don't bother me with there's peace already now. I'm on my way to getting peace. It's like it doesn't want to hear that it's already here. Like, shh, go away. I'm, I'm really serious. I'm a hardcore seeker. And I need to find that peace. But that actual seeking is what's obstructing the peace. As long as you're seeking, it's missed. Because you're telling yourself, well, it can't be here. And in fact, it's not even you telling yourself that. It's just a thought saying that. And I'm talking about the simplicity of what is, I'm talking about what's actually right in front of you, what's right in front of your nose, your computer screen. How is that possible? Your apartment, your car, your body, sounds. How are all these things, you know, it's so funny how the meat just dismisses it and takes it for granted. Oh, I know what the sky is. I know what rain is, oh, you know. All this knowing business just kills the aliveness, kills it, because you don't know what it is. And that's the magical quality. When you don't know what rain is, it's a, it's a whole brand new experience. There's just the magic of rain. Or just even a wall, something as pedestrian as a wall. You don't know even what a wall is. And you, you, it's just, oh, I know what it is. I don't, so I don't, no, you don't know what the wall is. I don't know what the wall is. I mean, just take a moment to be with 
there's never been a past or a future. All you've ever experienced is what is. And we might notice that that what Michael just said, all you've ever experienced is what is, doesn't make any sense. Because how could you have experienced something that isn't in the past? To say I have experienced, and how could you experience, you know, how could how could you experience what is anyway? Right, even the idea that there's someone somewhere experiencing something else called what is. And that's, then Michael has said a lot of different things similarly right now, you know, I mean, in this meeting, talking about how thoughts don't, uh, what, are, what are you saying? Thoughts look for a, a future or thoughts don't, uh, I don't know, you know, saying a lot of things like that, which, I mean, thoughts don't do anything, right? Thoughts, thoughts are just thoughts. There's no, but in order to talk about it, we put it into a form that makes sense in the way that we're used to, to, to telling the story of what is here because we need to have this form, this format of something going on and something, you know, uh, seeing it, a subject and an object, something, two things like thoughts, um, or you say like, you don't want, you know, you don't want just what is. And we, we were saying that a minute ago, I mean, what you really want is what just what just is. It's all what already all it just is. That's what you really want. But you don't want that. Because the wanting, this it's already in the form of want. I want uh something, whatever. That that that's already put it into this form of uh, I'm separate. So I need what I want. That's what want is. It's this format of being of two. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to, to just point out that when we talk about all these things, even Michael is trying to point out very clearly these ideas, but even to talk about it, it creates the same, the same form that isn't. In other words, that is the me also. The me is just the one who's Imagine to be separate. Imagine to be doing all these things like wanting or needing or imagining or thinking. And th what is is not in that form. It, it isn't that. It doesn't appear as that structure of two things. Something and something else. Me wanting something else. Me thinking about a past. On and on and on. It's because what is, is the only thing that is, but we can't say what it is. And when you say what it is, it implies a past, it implies a process, it implies two things, a this and a that, a me and a world. It implies all that, but we're just pointing out that, yeah, it implies it because the language implies it, the format implies it, 
We don't, we can't help that. But just because it's implied <laughs> doesn't mean that it's anything that there actually is a separate one because there is just this. Even though we have all these ways of talking that makes it seem. And that way of talking is just the, you know, that's what we, that's the me, the me that's, um, that stranger that's implied by, the, by all this, um, you know, this, this way of talking, this language implies, yeah, there's this other person who's experiencing and doing and wanting and, and knowing a past and knowing a future. This mysterious stranger that we call me, it's implied, but it's not here, never here. So, and that's right now, it's not here. Right now, it's just this, without anyone seeing it or knowing it or needing it or doing anything with it. And it's not going anywhere. It's not getting complete. Or failing to get complete. So as soon as you try and talk about this, it's an attempt to take what is unlimited and put a limitation on it. That's why you can't speak about what this is. Nobody knows what this is because it, it has no limitations. So you don't know what this is. How beautiful is that? Hi, Nkosi, welcome. Hi, hi, Michael. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you missed it. We got Zoom bomb tonight. <laughs> oh, I missed out. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Was it funny? I don't know. How would you guys describe it? Scary. <laughs> Scary? Yeah. It was intense. It was like really threatening, like scary. Good. So you got your money's worth. Crazy. Yeah, I got my money. <laughs> well, yeah. Really, because I don't want a weak Zoom bomb. If you're going to uh, disrupt my meeting, uh, you got to bring it. So that guy brought it. That guy reminded me from the guy uh, that did uh, uh, Predator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but the funny thing is that's this too. The Zoom bomber is this too, because it's all this. And this can show up as everything and anything. It was certainly part of what is. <laughs> or was. Yes. No limitations at all. No limitations. This may appear as everything, as anything. No. No matter which shape or form it may appear to be, it's just what is appearing as that. So everything is beautiful. <laughs> And you know, this seeing as it is right now, uh, without any thought or sensation, you no, know, it, it doesn't have anything to say. And even uh, even about that uh, zoom bomb that uh, appeared, it didn't have anything to say. It doesn't really have anything to say. It's just seeing. 
there's only seeing. Yeah, there's nothing else. There's nobody who's seeing anything. There's nobody who's listening. It's just listening happening. There may seem to be an understanding as well, but nobody's understanding. It's just what seems to be happening. So listening, seeing, hearing, there's no person, there's no me behind. It's just what seems to be happening. <laughs> so nobody's getting anything here. Nobody's knowing anything. Nobody is feeling peaceful yet. It's just what seems to be happening. It's just this spaciousness appearing as that. There is already no individual to know anything or understand anything. Even talking, nobody's talking. Nobody has ever said anything here. <laughs> no one can talk about this because there isn't anyone already. It's just talking happening. If it seems as if there's somebody who's talking, that's just an imagination appearing in this. It's just a dot construct. Yet it's also this. So there's no separation at all. So everything is beautiful. No one has ever done anything here. Nobody's doing anything, even right now. It's just wholeness. Everything. What seems to be the separate one? <laughs> it's just imaginary. It's already not there. It has never been there. So this doesn't see separation. It sees everything. If it seems, or if it looks as if somebody's talking, it's just everything talking. It's just wholeness talking. Any question that may arise, it's just wholeness doing that. Not a separate one, separate person. So, well, <clears throat> excuse me, what seems to be the me will never collapse. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist. There'll be there may seem to be a noticing that is happening. That seems to happen at all. There isn't a me. But no one is is, is noticing. There's just noticing happening. Even when what seems to be the recognition happens. When it happens, uh, it will just be happening, but nobody will be recognizing anything. Because there isn't anything to recognize here. There's nobody to recognize anything. It's just what is. And what is this has got nothing to do with you.
the thing that seems to be looking for this is already this. <laughs> already. So there isn't any real separate thing. It's just this appearing to be something that is separate looking for this. <laughs> So there's no one already. So everything is beautiful. Everything is already nameless, formless and empty. So nobody knows anything here. Everything that made me seem to be appearing to be seen, it's just nothing, it's nameless. Unless what seems to be the knowledge or the memory comes up and say, oh, I know this and that, but in actual fact, <laughs> nobody knows anything. Even what seems to be the memory can never be found. So this seeing as it is, it's just seeing. And it's seeing nothing and nobody see. It's just seeing alone as it is. So we can say that this is everything. So when you see a bug, that's this bugging. <laughs> or the wall is walling. Yes. And is uh, talking to itself. And there's no difference between a bug and a wall. There's a, there's a story, there's a story told of a different thing that they're different and that they, we can make stories out of walls and bugs and everything else. So, and past and future is how the stories are told all the differences and all the relationships and all the ideas of different things, but it's all just this. And all the stories of different, that a bug is here and the wall is there and they're two different things and the bug can fly and go splat against the wall. And all the stories are not, they're for no one. And the, the, the stories of meaning seems like it, a bug means something and a wall means something. 
but there's no one that they mean anything to because everything, all of it is just a story being told to itself, like Nkosi just said. A story telling a story to a story. And it's beautiful, we, you know, or not, whatever, whatever the story is, we could call it beautiful or not beautiful. Endless stories. And no one in the story. Any last comments or questions before we close out this evening? Thank you guys so, so much for coming. We love and appreciate each and every one of you in Kosi. Thank you so much for coming. You guys have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you guys.